Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another tutorial video with PowerUpWithPhil.com um, So following the blog post where this uh, video is embedded I thought I'd put together a very straightforward Power Automate flow for you um, which you are free to replicate um, which gives you um, the latest FCA updates in Microsoft Teams as soon as they're published by using something called an RSS feed which I know many of you will be familiar with um, because they've been around for a very long time. So diving in straight away, this is what the flow looks like currently. I'm going to zoom in slightly so we're able to see this a little bit clearer. OK, before we go through the flow, though, there's one parameter that you're going to need to obtain, which is on the FCA's website. So on the FCA's website, um, as an example, um, you need to find uh, the page of what we publish and then sort of towards the bottom of the page is something called the really simple syndication or RSS feed which keeps followers notified of the latest news and warnings about unauthorized firms and individuals. Seems that this is the only RSS feed they publish at the moment. Um, of course we will be looking in a different video um, later on about how we alert ourselves to consultation papers, discussion papers etc under the policy and guidance tab or the policy and guidance area of the FCA website. But in this RSS feed for news and warnings, if we click that, we're brought through the content of that RSS at the moment in a language called XML. That's not really a huge amount of use to us, so whilst it gives us the detail, that's not very pretty, and we don't want to certainly go in here manually or refresh the website every time we want to see a new bit of news. But what we do need is this URL. So if we copy that URL there and we come back into our flow. So I'll talk you through the steps that I've created here, um, which is as again a demonstration or a tutorial of how this operates and we'll see it in action as well. So for this demo I'm using the manually trigger a flow trigger but in practice the trigger I would use is if I show you quickly here is the only trigger available which is when a feed item is published and what you would put in the feed URL is what we've copied so our um, FCA RSS feed there um, but because I'm going to be showing this to you manually I don't want to wait for when a new feed item may be published that could be several hours away or several days so I'm going to use the instant trigger here just as a demonstration we then move into the action of list all RSS feed items and again we're putting in that URL that we've copied from the FCA's website. Now we can filter this down even more so we could input a date here for um, the RSS feed items that should be retrieved since that publication date. I'm going to bring back all of them so far um, that have been published on there but you can narrow this down if you only want to see RSS feed posts that have been created, let's say, since the 10th of March or the last seven days, etc. You're free to do that there. What we then do is initialize three variables, and these are used later on to make that message appear to us in Microsoft Teams. So I'm initializing three string variables here one called summary text, one called alert link, and one called publish date. Um, and you'll see these. Um, come into their own um, when we actually you know try this out and give it a spin what we then need to do is branch into or should I say go into and apply to each function because what this is going to do is take the list of all those RSS items and for each item within the body of that response I've put in a condition here to say when the publish date is greater than or equal to this particular value. Um, you don't have to do this condition or you may want to do a condition where um, uh, this is only uh, where the publish date or any of the other parameters contains a certain um, phrase or when it's directed to a certain industry or the publish date was uh, within a certain range that's completely up to you and of course you can add multiple conditions so when either let's say of those um, uh, match so go down the yes route or using the and statement when both of them match. For now though I'm just going to go with publish date is greater than or equal to 
this particular date, which happens to be the last time that um, the FCA published an RSS feed post. Then in the if yes area, so when this condition is met, we want to use the set variable um, action and set those variables using the output of our apply to each, so of our um, uh, list of all those RSS feed items. We want to set that variable of summary text to be the summary for the particular item that it's working through at that time, because this apply to each is every item or every RSS post feed within that list that we've asked for. We're also then setting, again, the same principle, the link to that alert or link to that news post and also the publish date as well because that's important to know when uh, in the in the team's message when that was published next we're using um, an ai builder tool to extract the key phrases from that text and here i'm simply selecting the language which in this case is english and the text i want it to extract key phrases from is that summary element which is sort of the brief rundown which is available in the RSS feed um, of what the alert is, this being the recent events at Silicon Valley Bank. So I want it to extract key phrases from that text. We then move to an apply to each loop again because each time key phrases are extracted from this text there's going to be multiple results. Um, it's unlikely that you're only ever going to get one key phrase from a chunk of text like that. So we need to loop through each of those to ensure that we only really get alerted when it's something of interest to us. So we're doing that artificial intelligence element. Um, so we're not notified um, uh, about something that, that has no you know, bearing on, on what we want to, to see or applies to our organization. So again, we're using that principle of the output of all of these key phrases. We're going to loop through all of the results and then we go into a condition. So here I'm looking for when one of the key phrases contains the word silicon, because I know that's um, on the, the RSS feed at the moment. So this can be really anything, and I would encourage you to add multiple um, different conditions here using either the and or the or, or may be best, um, because you want to be alerted to when one or more of them um, have been met. So that key phrase could contain insurance, could it contain banking, could it contain you, the, the really the sky's the limit of what um, you, you want to narrow down on. But for my demo here, I'm just interested in when that key phrase contains silicon. What I'm then doing is using a compose action down this if yes route. So if this condition matches for that particular record, I want to see the results of that AI, that piece of artificial intelligence. I want to see what those key phrases are because that may help on future runs or when we look at this flow again to see what the, the keywords were that were extracted. And maybe I could add those to a condition again moving forwards if it's going to be a particular topic of interest to the regulator. Finally, then we move into posting the message in a chat or channel, which is a Microsoft Teams function. I'm going to post this as a, a flow bot. You can post it as a user or use the Power Virtual Agents preview. And I'm choosing here to post it in a chat with the Flowbot. So a chat with myself in this case, or a chat with um, so a private chat, in other words. But you can, of course, send this to a particular channel or a group chat that you may have um, already in place as well. Select the recipient. In this case, it's going to be myself. And then what do I want to alert about? There's lots of values that are actually available from this RSS feed here because I just want that particular um, element here. So when we've looped through all of those RSS outputs, all those items, all of those news stories, I only want to see the, the ones that particularly relate to, to that, that topic itself. So where we set our variables up here, I'm using the output of those variables in my message. So all I've done here is created a new message. I've done some bold and underlined text to alert me that there's been a new post. The date it's posted, so I'm using that publish date variable, a summary, and of course a link to the page. And then in advanced options, is alert I've set to yes. What this means is 
um, if the message will be shown in the activity feed within Teams, so up here within Teams, or whether it will be um, uh, just within the chat itself and not give you that alert, but I certainly want that here. Before we move on to giving this a test then, in the if no element, so I've set my condition here to where the key phrases, or the key phrase, should I say, contains the word silicon, and I think it's obvious what we're going to get back in this particular run. But if it doesn't contain silicon, I still want to know what the results or what the key phrase results are going to be. Because again, it may be something that I'm missing or maybe something that is of relevance that I want to add to my condition or my filtering within this flow moving forwards. Anyway, let's hit save. And again, we're using this manually trigger a flow, so I'm going to need to tick this off manually. But in production, of course, we would use the, the trigger for RSS feeds. And I'm going to give this flow a run. So we click run and then run flow. And what we'll see is here up in Power Automate, we've just had a brand new alert 1224 now to notify me because of the conditions we've put in that a new FCA news alert has been posted. Here's a high level summary of what it was and also the date and time of when that was posted, this being today at 7.46 a.m. UK time, and then a link to the page. And of course, you can uh, visit that link for the full information of what's going on here in the news at the moment. So that's a very high level, very quick, very simple way of utilizing um, AI Builder, Microsoft Teams, and an RSS feed to keep you up to date and prevent you having to refresh the FCA website as just one example to keep abreast of regulatory changes and horizon scanning. Similar exists for the Information Commissioner's Office, another key UK regulator for data protection, and also the Prudential Regulation Authority as well, plus other RSS feeds um, and API integrations that we can utilise to keep ahead of the game. Thanks very much for watching.